At Tallgrass Hemp and Cannabis, we're reflecting on our first year. What a ride it's been growing hemp in Kansas so far. After a successful 2019 harvest, the KDA denied our 2020 research proposal three times in writing, all because we suggested studying feral hemp. We pushed back pretty hard with everything we had and were fortunate to come to a resolution with state officials and receive our license on the very last day of the 2020 licensing period. So we're off to a second year of growing hemp in Kansas, kind of. Just last week, it was announced that the Kansas Commercial Hemp Program will not be ready until the fall. The USDA has accepted KDA's plan, but work remains to roll out the commercial program in Kansas. This means another year of stagnation for the hemp industry and lost opportunities for farmers to develop the critical mass required for success throughout the state. This unfortunate result of coronavirus-related delays is a disappointment to everyone involved in the Kansas hemp industry, I'm sure, but no one's fault. Medical marijuana is an area where Kansas continues to also fall further behind, even our nearest neighbors. During the coronavirus crisis, 30 states declared cannabis essential, but in Kansas, it remains illegal. As Kansans, we have got to change this. Tallgrass continues advocating on this issue and encourages you to also speak up. Overall, we are filled with gratitude for this first year of historic hemp growth and excited to keep growing. Peace and goodwill from Tallgrass to you.